Well, we all work hard to hopefully be able to retire one day and live comfortably in that retirement. So the big question is, how do you make sure your savings last the rest of your lifetime? <laughs> Richmond money expert J.B. Bryan is here to answer that question with one option. Good morning, J.B. Good morning, Cheryl. And I tell you, you are so right. And no one wants to outlive their money, no. but they want to live off their money while they're living. So. Right, because it's hard when you invest and then you start taking the money out and you see the balance go down. And yes. then you start to worry will I have enough? Very good point. And that, that is a huge challenge because interest rates are so low, which has made the total return strategy more attractive over these recent years because it broadens your look at your portfolio. Okay, so it's called total return investing. So what exactly is it? Explain how this works. So total return is like a holistic, a holistic approach to looking at your portfolio so that it includes income from all asset classes and it includes capital appreciation and the growth of your assets. So when you're looking at the total return, you'll add together all of those sources over a given period of time and you'll, and you'll see that you're getting a return from the capital gains that were inside the portfolio, the growth and the price, and then you're also getting income, dividends, or even interest that you're reinvesting that are increasing the return of the portfolio that can increase your income as well. So shouldn't we have been looking at the total picture to begin with? <laughs> <laughs> and many people are. Many people are doing this and they don't really realize what they're doing, but many people need to take this opportunity to talk to their financial advisor about mm -hmm. increasing their income through a total return investment strategy. And it can work for them, but they have to talk with the advisor, make sure that they establish a well-diversified total return portfolio designed for their assets, for their risk level. So the assets need to be adjusted according to your risk level and your time horizon. And you mentioned a very important word, which is diversification. We should all be mm. diversely invested anyway, right? Yes, in total return, investment strategy basically forces you to be diversified, but it takes you to a whole nother level, Cheryl. It includes asset allocation. So you're diversified. You could be diversified and have everything in the same asset class. You could be diversified across all stocks. Mm -hmm. But the total return portfolio says, no, we're going to do stocks and bonds and some cash and all different types of stocks and different types of bonds. So it is definitely a way to that you're forced to be diversified, but it also a good total return investment strategy will look at asset allocation that is connected to your risk tolerance. You mentioned, I was going to say, you mentioned risk tolerance. And, and so what are the risks of doing this kind of investing? Well, it's not going to protect you from market risk because you're going to have some exposure to equities. You're going to have exposure to fluctuating interest rates because you have some bonds in there theoretically. Mm -hmm. So definitely you have to realize that if you are using this approach and we're, and we're using it for creating income, then you need to be aware that when you start, when you first go into your retirement, I want you to think about having some savings available that you can, if you go into retirement and it's a bad market time, so your total return, any return on your portfolio is negative at the beginning of your retirement, that can be devastating for your financial future if you look at it historically. So the beginning of your retirement is very important that you have a savings, maybe one or two possibly even three years available to you so that you can kind of reinvest those the returns that you're making into your portfolio so that you're buying into the stocks that you may have at the cheap prices if theoretically you enter your retirement during a bad market time. So, so the total return portfolio could still work for you. When yeah. we retire, we still need to keep an eye on all those investments. <laughs> yes, you do. So talk to your financial advisor about it. But this topic is so important because there are a lot of people who are, are trying to increase their income and don't know how. And we want to do that. Thank That's you, right. J.B. And J.B. Bryan offers money seminars every Wednesday and Sunday evening. They are free, but you do need to pre-register. We'll put a link to more information on our website by early this afternoon. Just go to WTBR.com slash VTM.